as you can see it's uh it's a bit dark here my apologies you know it's uh it's raining out there and um you know i'm unable to use my generator offset so please let's just uh make do with what we have tonight all right so on the comment section we have mr zuba says um good evening sir good evening um miss um not bro not um better bruce says good evening sir good evening miss regina says good evening sir good evening and uh, miss basira says good evening sir it's great to have you all here tonight so um without further ado let's go straight into it okay miss joy it's great to have you gst 104 and we're going to be talking about libraries just 104 i'm going to be talking about libraries okay now you know according to the thumbnail we have the types of library but before we go into what the types of libraries are let's um, look at the word library itself the word library itself library now so before we go into the types of library let's okay just a moment just a moment everyone I think um, it's a bit better now, if I'm not mistaken. So um, we have um, libraries. Speaking of which, what do we understand by the word library? What does the word library stand for? What does it signify? Now, the concept library, the word itself is In French, in French, in French, it means libraria, libra, libra, ria. In French, the word in French, libraire, which means, and in Latin, and in Latin, li, liba, which means books. Okay, which means book. You know, now these are the words which mean book, and talking about library itself. Now it is said to be an organized collection of resources, an organized collection of resources, an organized connection of resources made accessible accessible you know to be very pathetic if there are organized collection of resources and are not made accessible but it's not just an organized collection of resources it's also made available made available you know an organized collection of resources made available and accessible available and accessible accessible to you know made available and accessible to a defined community to a defined community for reference or borrowing
for reference or borrowing. Okay, an organized collection of resources made available to a defined community for reference or borrowing. So we have that as that for the word library. So now it's provide physical library, provide physical or digital access. Physical or digital access. Physical or digital access. Physical or digital access, you know, to materials. To materials. to materials okay physical it makes available and accessible physical or digital access to materials and may be a physical building or a room a library may be a physical building or a room or a virtual space a physical building room or a virtual space all right so we have library in french library and in latin liba which means book okay now talking about library itself what does it signify what does it mean and organized it means an organized it means an organized collection of resources you know made available and accessible to who why are they made available and accessible for what purpose and to for, and for whom are they made available and accessible to a defined community for reference and for borrowing purpose all right now we also say this library can provide physical or digital access to material you know the access to this material can be physical or it can be uh, digital you know it all depends now maybe a physical building maybe a physical building can be from a physical building room or space all right so we have that as that now let's proceed Now we have a library's collection consists of periodicals, may consist of periodicals, newspaper, manuscripts, storybooks, novels, CDs, all the pens. Whatever it is that can give people access to information and knowledge. Okay. So we have that as that. Now, the Latin and the Greek idea of the bookcase, Latin and Greek, Latin and okay, let me write this clearly. Latin and Greek idea of bookcase idea of bookcase is represented by by bibli 
by we have bill b k okay is biblioteca biblio okay let me write it here biblio bibli biblio seca okay Wow, these scripts and Latin words they are quite confusing. Biblio. Biblioteca. Okay, the Latin word. The Latin and Greek idea of bookcase, which is the library, is represented by biblioteca. Right? In French, the library is called. Biblio, Biblio sec. Now in French, Biblio seco, seco. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me, please. Now. As you can see, we have this is in Latin and in Greek, and also this is in French. Okay. Now let's proceed. Okay, now we've been able to talk about library, what it means in French, what it means in Greek and Latin. Also, what book means in Greek, what it means in Latin, what the word library is. You know, we've been able to talk about that. And um, now let's talk about the history or the origin. The history slash origin of the library. Now let's take down let's note down these points. Now the first libraries contained archives of the earliest form of writing. First libraries contained archives contained archives of the earliest forms of writings the earliest form of writings you know it contains the earliest form of forms of writing now and these writings were in clay when clay clay tablets clay tablets somewhere in okay somewhere in queen form queen form scripts Scripts, old scripts, queen form scripts discovered in the summer, some dating back to 2600 BC. Okay, we are talking about the history or the origin 
of library. All right. So we have that as that. Okay, so we have, let's proceed. We have the Zang 2011. Zang 2011, which is the earliest discovery, the earliest discovered private archives were kept at Jugarits, according to Zang in 2011, he said the earliest discovery of private archives, earliest of private archives were kept they were kept in Ugarits. They were kept in Ugarit or kept at at Ugarits. Okay, so um, we have that as that. The earliest discoveries of private archives were kept at you got it please let's take note of all these points now evidence of libraries at nepal about 19000 bc now they were evidence evidence of library they were evidence of library in 19000 bc that's 19,000 years before Christ at Nepal. Nepal. All right. Also at Nineveh. Nineveh. I think this is a word familiar to the scripture. Nineveh. word familiar to the scripture about 700 BC about 700 BC these are the evidence of libraries evidence of libraries and discoveries of early form of writings okay now we have that as that now let's uh, let's proceed Okay, now, so according to what I have here, now, just a moment. Just a moment. Okay, I think I need to use my mouse now. My my screen is not um, so responsive. Okay, now yeah, let's proceed. Okay, now there were also discoveries of private or personal libraries there were also discoveries of private or personal libraries consisting of books appeared in classical greece private libraries of course private libraries of books private libraries of books in classical greece in fifth in fifth century business private library of books 
in in what in Greece in Greece in fifth century. Okay, history. Let's not forget the history of library. All right. Also, in the sixth century, at the very close of the classical period. So we can refer to this as classical period. The 5th century and the 6th century classical period. Okay. The great libraries of Mediterranean world. 6th century. So we had the great library of the Mediterranean world in 6th century. Great library of <clears throat> a Mediterranean 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 okay it's actually Mediterranean Mediterranean the great library of Mediterranean world in sixth century okay the great library of mediterranean world Med mediterranean world in the sixth century okay and in the library were those of constantinople and alexandra Constantinople and Alexandra Alexandra Constantinople and Alexandra of the Mediterranean in the 6th century Okay, so we have that as that. Now let's proceed. Okay, so we have in the 15th century, in the central and in the northern Italy, libraries of humanists, libraries of humanists, 15th century, we have libraries of humanists in the 15th century libraries of humanists in the central and northern italy in the central and northern italy okay so, as you can see, it's a progress. It's a progression we are following. Now, we started from the very first library, you know, contained archives of the earliest form of writings. Now, we were able to establish that. Then we said these writings, this earliest form of writings, they were in clays and scripts in coin forms. All right, and this happens to be about 2,000 years before the existence of Christ. Okay, and we have Zhang in 2011 said the earliest discoveries of private archives. What we, what are we, when we say archives, what are we referring to? It's like a storage, a storage. Private archives were kept at Ugarit. Earliest discoveries of private archives. All right. Now we have evidence of library were discovered in 1,900 years before Christ in Nepal. In Nepal. All right. And in Nineveh, about 
hundred, seven hundred years before Christ, libraries were also dis that early writings and archives were discovered also in Nineveh about seven hundred years before Christ. Now, private libraries of books in Greece during the fifth centuries were also discovered, and it is referred to classical. The 5th century and the 6th century were referred to as classical uh, period. Alright? Now, we also have the Great Library of the Mediterranean World of the Constantinople and Alexandra in the 6th century, which we refer to as a classical, classical period. Alright? Now we also have in the 15th century library of humanists in the central and northern Italy. Okay, so we have that is that. Now let's proceed. Now we have uh, in China existed in China exists the oldest emphatically and categorically The oldest, I repeat, the oldest existing library exists in China. Okay. And the name of this library is Tianyi. I don't mean if I don't pronounce it well. Though. I'm not a Chinese. Tian Yi Chamber. Chamber Library. Tianyi Chamber Library happens to be the name of the oldest library. Tianyi Chamber Library. All right. I think my marker is feeding. So we have we have that as that. And the oldest library was founded in 1561. Founded in what? Fifteen sixty one. Okay, so please let's take note of all these key points. The oldest library that ever existed, or the oldest library that ever exists, is in China, and it's said to be the Tianyin Chamber, which is, which was founded in. 1561 by Fan Queen during founded by in this night is 1561 it was fa founded by by Fan Queen founded by Fan Queen okay during the Ming dynasty during the Ming dynasty different dynasty you know in the history of China it's, it's a different history on its own I think I read a little about different dynasties in China you know it's, it's a different thing entirely 
and it's a very very interesting history you know maybe you should also take time to just go check it out different dynasties in china different dynasties in the history of china all right so we have that as that now let's proceed now this oldest this tiny chamber okay had a collection had a collection of 70,000 volumes of antique okay that's the moment I think I need to adjust my note just right away Seventy thousand volume of antiques. Now, let's take this down. This chamber, the any chamber we are referring to, it has a volume of seventy thousand. Seventy thousand volume of antique books. antique books okay you know what we'll talk about what we'll talk about antiques we are only referring to a collectible object collectible collectible objects you know such as a piece of your a work of art of high value because of its age and quality and, you know having high value something books with high value because of their age and quality so seventy thousand of them were in this chat when this um, library the tiny chamber library okay now let's proceed okay now in north america we have what we call personal collection of book that were brought to the continent by french settlers now french settlers brought into north america you know some books collection of books in the 16th century French settlers North America collection of books in the 16th century take down the point please all right now we have the oldest non-personal library of the North American continent was founded at the Jet Suits College in Quebec City. Oldest non personal library founded in North American continent. Not to so North America is a continent. In North American continent founded in North America continents, you know, at where J2 College at Jesuits Jesuits College in Quebec, in Quebec, in Quebec City. In 1635, 1635 in Quebec City, in now the oldest non personal. We've only spoken about oldest three times now, which is the earliest form of writing when we started the history. The second one is this China oldest Tianyi chamber, and thirdly, the non personal, the oldest non personal library founded in Jesuit College at Quebec City 
in the on the continent north america in the year 1635 all right now let's proceed now although i would love us to call it a wrap here so uh in our next class we can actually take the types of libraries so i believe we've been able to take you know in some important things in tonight's class so i look forward to receiving our notes and um let's do well to do that and um okay let me give us an assignment dynasties i really want us to go and make that research about dynasties in china right at least about one dynasty in the history of china this cause the this cause d this cause d inception of any dynasty in the history in the history of china discourse the, the inception of any dynasty in the history of china so we're having class tomorrow so please i expect also this assignment this night i don't want you to give me novel please just say something about it just for us to go and make that research and have that idea that is the concept so please i expect us to submit this assignment tonight thank you very much i uh, and um, i want to say a big thank you to those of us that were able to meet or catch up with the class tonight it's monday very she says you can't she can't see what i'm writing oh sorry about that but for my hand there i can for my hand there i can uh, let me see miss rena for my hand there is it's pretty clear you know just um, fix your settings on your youtube just change it to 360 or 720 for me it's, it's very clear okay so um thank you very much everyone so um i hope to see you in the class tomorrow and get your assignments tonight good night